which we're going to move now to what we call new plant and equipment. So again, it's, that's why we should always talk to our accountant before we do anything, because they're going to give you these pieces of gold, these little bits of advice in terms of how you set up for success. But let's talk about new plant and equipment. Um, so when I replace a stove or a piece, some carpet or air conditioning units, what's usually the result there in terms of whether I can make an immediate claim versus when I can actually write that off over a period of time through depreciation? Okay, so as you know, the, the, re, the stove is going to be replacement in its entirety, so we're out of the grounds of yep. repair. So then yep. you've got a depreciable item and you you could take out of your depreciation schedule the old stove and, and write that off. And then you've got this new stove that you bring in and you depreciate it over its life, maybe 10 years or whatever the effective life is for a stove. Um, but yep. if that stove somehow, say there's two owners of the property, um, cost you less than six hundred dollars, I'd rather a dishwasher in that example. Stoves is a bit hard, but maybe. Well, you, let's use the dishwasher in this yep. example. Let's use the dishwasher. Yep. Yeah. So the dishwasher is under six hundred dollars. So two owners of the property. So it's under three hundred dollars each. You get an immediate write-off for that. If it's under a thousand dollars, you get to write off only eighteen percent. 18.75% the first year. And so it's not really worth, you know, not getting a lot of the money back. But worse still, if it's over $1,000, then, and you bought it in June, you're going to get very, very, because that's just pro rata over its life, isn't it? So, yeah, I wouldn't be bothering, the last thing I'd be doing is bothering replacing a stove over ten th over $1,000 at this stage. Not much to gain. So, so there's a couple of nice little tips around plant and equipment in terms of, and we're